Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're diving into the Kyocera Dura XA Equip. I'm really excited to finally have the opportunity to talk about this device. It's been a journey to actually get it to my hands, but here it is. So we're going to get started as always with our frequently asked questions. This device works a little bit better globally than the Kyocera Dura XV just because it is unlocked and it comes with more GSM bands than the one with Verizon. I personally find this device very appealing because it's quite customizable. There is a video if you want to customize it with a virtual mouse, better apps, and better shortcuts by Peter Marinov. And if I mispronounce your name, Peter, I'm sorry, but it's a video that I'll be linking in the description below. And whether you have an XV, an Epic, or an Equip of the Kyocera line of devices, his step-by-step -step guide is excellent and can really enhance your experience with these devices. The Kyocera Dura XA Equip is rugged and is quite practical. At 299, it offers different configurations for calls, text messaging. Because the device runs on Android, it allows you to install a lot of applications. It does have a basic camera and is sufficient for quick snapshots and everyday use, but it's not going to be amazing for all of the other things. So I'm going to show you a couple of samples of the camera and you can decide whether this is good enough for your job or the different areas of your life that you actually wanna capture. The one key feature to highlight on this device and moving on from the camera to predictive text and texting experience is that right now it sucks, just putting it out there. However, I believe they're releasing within the next month an update that is going to revamp completely the predictive text engine and they're working and receiving a lot of feedback, which is something that I look for in companies. When they're listening to the customers, when they're making sure that everything works and gathering the feedback to improve the device, that's when I'm willing to say, yes, spend $300 on this device because it's not only a good hardware device, they're listening to make the software experience better. The device comes with useful features such as email, multimedia tools like a camera, music player, essential utilities like a calendar, time clock, et cetera, et cetera. And messaging is currently going to be improved, so just wait for that. But the device supports different input modes, including symbols and emoji. So you're able to play around with it and you know just have the ability to create text messages that T9 engine right now is not horrible. It's not the worst I've ever used, but it's not the best that they have actually released. For you, if you're interested in customization, I have installed WhatsApp, Aegis, which is a 2FA application, NeoStore, Organic Maps, and Uber. So if you need a couple of extra utilities on your device, I highly recommend that you look into this tutorial that I put in the description below and you're able to install different applications. Most of them work. Some of them are not going to work just because it's a smaller screen. So the aspect ratio is not going to work because it's not optimized for this specific screen. But for the most part, you're going to be able to use this device in its entirety and be able to see that, okay, I can use a lot of the apps that I need for work or life but it's also not touchscreen, it's more basic, but it does give you some extras in that regard because it doesn't have a touchscreen drawing power and because it's running a very bare bones operating system with Android 12, the Kyocera Dura XA Equip has a solid build with a long lasting battery life. It does have USB-C and a headphone jack and it lasts two to four days, depending on your use. You can definitely kill the battery in one day, but most of the time you're going to be using it for two, three, maybe even four days. You can make it last a week with its echo mode, which is kind of like a battery saver. And it also has other utilities like a calculator, calendar, stopwatch, notepad. It does have a flashlight that you can use to essentially look for your keys if you lost them or something like that. But with a lot of the customization, I think it's a device that you're going to like and that you're going to be able to make your own. The hinge is quite robust and the overall construction feels very durable. So for $299, it's a great value if you're looking for something reliable, versatile, that can be tailored to your needs. You're able to install most applications, have a virtual mouse to run them and you know little optimizations here and there. But 
it's going to be an overall great recommendation if you're looking for an unlocked device that you can use here in the United States and also in other countries, and you can customize it to your liking. It's not going to be the most fluid experience like the Cat S22 with its touchscreen, but it's going to be a very good device that listens to feedback with a company that is out there for the customer. If you have any questions about this device or any of the other devices I have reviewed, feel free to leave a comment in the comments below and I'll be interacting with you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, hit the notification bell, all the things. But I really appreciate you listening to this little review and interacting with the community. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.